What's up, fam? Welcome to Dante's Rant Room. I'm your host, Dante. We talk about nerd culture and geek culture. And today, giving you guys an update in regards to yesterday's topic about Resident Evil 4. To keep yourself updated in regards to video game content. To satisfy your ear holes, make sure you hit the red subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. We talk about all kinds of nerd and geek culture content, and you wouldn't want to miss out on stuff, especially the controversial stuff. If you're talking about episodes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hit the red subscribe button to show your support. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are at Senkaku Complex. It says, rumored Resident Evil 4 remake allegedly giving side characters bigger roles. Bigger roles. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Resident Evil 4, one of Capcom's best performing entries in the franchise despite its stronger focus on action had more details about its alleged remake exposed online. From side characters getting bigger roles to a greater focus on horror and a possible early 2022 reveal. That sounds interesting. Um, I think they did pretty well with the Resident Evil 3 remake. Um... As long as they didn't go, they don't go the route of Resident Evil, the, the the VR version where they censored a lot of crap. Please, as long as they don't do that, I think we'll be okay. But if they're gonna censor content from the video game, all it's going to do is piss off a lot of people, especially those who played the game like myself long time ago. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. I am down for remake and subtle changes and maybe adding on to the story and so on and so forth and enhancing it, not taking away from it. Because taking away from it, it, that also includes censoring a lot of stuff. That includes taking away from the flirtatious stuff between Leon and the other female characters. That's not going to help. It's only going to piss off a lot of people. They may, they may buy the game. I mean, I'm just saying they might complain about it. If, like, if, for example, if I buy the game and I complain about it online, you're not going to go want to buy the game because you know that I just complained about the censorship, which you know I would do on this channel if it's still alive by then. <laughs> and by the way, the only way the channel is going to be alive by then is if you subscribe to the channel. So anyway, it says, it is said... The game was originally in development by M2, which consisted of former Capcom and Platinum Games developer who were also toiling away on Resident Evil 3 Remake, which is actually a pretty damn good game for Deuce Hits on myself. The article goes on to say that an anonymous source said Capcom is no longer looking for a strict scene-by-scene remake of Resident Evil 4. And that the beginning part of the game with the village will instead take place at night, along with most of the game, as the remake intends to put greater emphasis on horror. Which is great, because it reminds me a little bit of Dying Light 2, where they try to make most of the missions at night, where you have to go out at night to fight zombies, where they're super powered and you fight volatiles and shit like that. So, I, I'm i actually okay with that. It, it increases the horror aspect of the game, enhancing the game, like I said before. As long as it doesn't center it like the VR version, you know what I'm saying? Taking away from the flirtatiousness between Leon and Hannigan or Ada or whatever. I am actually okay with this. And it needs to make the game better, not take away from made it a great and awesome and spectacular game. You feel me? Now, 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 hold on, fam. I got more info for you. Hold on now. Assignment Ada, a brief campaign that starred Ada Wong, will be expanded upon and combined with the separate ways campaign that also mainly focus on the titular thief and in a way that makes them a more fluid and polished companion piece, which I'm also okay with. Now, if they can do it this way without actually ruining the amazing awesomeness that was your previous game, I'm okay with this. 
I'm okay with a remake that doesn't hurt the previous game, but rather enhances the experience of the next remake. That is fine. You know what I'm saying? If they go on and make a new game that censors it, like taking away their boobs or cleavage or flirtatiousness or certain lines, that I'm not with. No, 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 no. They can stop it right there. But if they can make it better, sure, I'm all for it. The article goes on to say, delete images that tease a redesign for antagonist Albert Wesker were supposedly from a now canceled Resident Evil project I will show you guys right now. Now, here it is, fam. You know I always got receipts. This is the uh, thing I'm talking about right here. That got his account deleted. Sheesh. But it's right here. Um, I don't know how I feel. Like, it looks pretty cool. What do you got thoughts about this? Other people coming forward saying DC shares stuff with them too. DC knew it was being break and yeah. Okay, well, non-disclosure agreement, by the way. Um, I don't know. Again, did not share. Could get sued. Says he's 43, 38 at Raccoon City. Mm. This is also very interesting. What do you got thoughts on this? Um, I listen. If if they don't change too much about it, uh, I was talking about it in the comment section before my previous episode. Go check it out. As long as they keep it the way it is, don't censor it. Don't have these um, woke activists change it or damage the perfection of this game, I think we'll be all right. Um, yeah, I think we'll be all right. They just don't need, as long as they don't ruin it, we'll be good. But let me know what you guys think about this uh, update in regards to Resident Evil 4 Remake. Drop a comment in the comment section for the good old algorithm, please. I would appreciate that. Support the channel by subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, I would also appreciate that as well. And enjoy your Friday. Get out there and have a good time. And I'll see you guys next time.